Sister Calista Roy, born October 14, 1939, she was a nursing theorist, a professor, and author, and she developed the Roy Adaptation Model. It was a busy house growing up in the Roy uh, household. She is the second oldest of 14 children, so she had seven brothers and six sisters. Her mother was a vocational nurse, and her father drove a truck. At age 14, she started working as a kitchen hand at the hospital and then worked her way up to a nurse assistant. And then after high school, she joined the Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet. And then in 1963, she earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in nursing. And then three years later, she earned a master's degree in pediatric nursing. And then she went on to study sociology, earning her master's degree and her doctorate degree, both in sociology. You can see Sister Calista Roy there on the right, uh, circled in yellow. The Roy Adaptation Model was developed in 1976. She said the goal of nursing is to promote adaptation. There's major concepts of the adaptation model include person, environment, health, nursing, adaptation. Roy describes people in terms of a holistic adaptive system. An adaptive system described as a whole comprised of parts functions as a unity for some purpose it includes people as individuals or in groups, families, organization, communities, and society as a whole. For environment, all conditions, circumstances, and influences surrounding and affecting the development and behavior of a person and groups with particular consideration of mutuality of person and Earth's resources, including focal, contextual, and residual stimuli. For health, it is a state and a process of being and becoming integrated and whole. And for nursing, it is to promote adaptation for individuals and groups in the four adaptive modes, thus contributing to health, quality of life, and dying with dignity by assessing behaviors and factors that influence adaptive abilities and by intervening to enhance environmental interactions. And with adaptation it is the process and outcome whereby the thinking and feeling person as individuals or groups use conscious awareness and choice to create human and environmental integrity. Coping process subsystems. So you have regulator and cognitor. Regulator is a person's adaptive system through neurochemical and endocrine responses. And in Cognator, this is a person's ability to cope mentally via self-concept, interdependence, and role function. Some examples of Regulator include increase in heart rate and blood pressure, tension, excitement, loss of appetite, and increase in serum cortisol. Uh, some signs of ineffectiveness of Cognator include faulty perception and information processing, ineffective learning, poor judgment, an inappropriate effect. There are four adaptive modes. They are physiological, physical, self-concept, group identity, role function, and interdependence. An understanding of physiological behavior uses knowledge of anatomy and physiology of the human body as well as of the pathophysiology underlying disease processes. The nurse will be knowledgeable about normal body processes to recognize compensatory and compromised processes of physiological adaptation. When a person's physi physiological needs are met, physiologic integrity is achieved. These needs and associated processes are oxygenation, nutrition, elimination, activity, rest, and protection. Physiologic adaptation includes complex processes as they all relate to senses, fluid and electrolytes, neurological function, and endocrine function. Self-concepts is formed from internal perceptions and perceptions of others' reactions with directs one, which directs one's behavior. The self-concept mode consists of sense of unity, sense of purpose, internal perceptions, external reactions, identity, integrity, body image, and self-ideals. It is important for the nurse to have knowledge 
about the self-concept mode to assess behaviors and stimuli influencing the person's self-concept. Under the role function, adaptive mode is where uh, roles people have in society and where one stands in within a society. You have a primary, secondary, and tertiary roles. Under the primary roles, the role is the individual holds based on age, sex, and developmental stage. It determines the majority of an individual's behaviors during a particular growth period of life. Secondary role is a role that an individual assumes to complete the expectations of a developmental stage and primary role. And a tertiary role is a temporary role that is chosen by an individual and often associated with the expectations of an individual's primary and secondary roles. Interdependence is a basic need is re relational integrity referring to security and relationships. So you have relationships and communication under inter interdependence. You got one-on-one -on -one relationships, groups, you have relationship purpose, why do you have this relationship, and you have personal growth and in societal growth. In communication, there's effective communication, non-effective, and also there's expressivity. There's three levels of adaptation, integ integrated process, compensatory process, and compromise process. The integrated process meets the needs of the environment. Examples include breathing, successful relationships. Compensatory process is challenged by the environment's needs, but they're also working to meet those needs. Example includes grief, new job, compensatory breathing. And then in the compromise process, this is when it's not meeting the environmental challenges. Examples include unresolved loss, hypoxia, and abusive relationship. In the nursing process, this should look familiar to you all. Um, it looks familiar uh, compared to ADPI, uh, the nursing process. Uh, it, according to Roy's adaptation model, uh, the nursing process is the assessment of behavior, assessment of stimuli, nursing diagnosis, goal setting, intervention, and evaluation. You can see you have the coping mechanisms in the middle, and which are all influenced by adaptation, behaviors, and the nursing process surrounding it. Uh, representation of a human adaptive system. You have stimuli coming in, which gets processed at the center, incorporating one, all, or a combination of the four adaptive modes, and the behavior is the result which was influenced by everything before, including the stimuli, the coping process, and the four adaptive modes. So in summary, you have major concepts include person, environment, health, nursing, adaptation, you have the four adaptive modes, the physiological, physical, self-concept, group identity, role function, interdependence. Three levels of adaptation include integrated, compensatory, compromised, and then the nursing process. Assessment of behavior and stimuli, nursing diagnosis, goal setting, implement interventions, and evaluate. And here's just a fun little crossword puzzle we developed with uh, questions related to this presentation. If you would like to print this out and complete it, that would be great. And here are the references where we got our information to create this presentation. That's it for now. Thank you.